It's like, are you are you cops stupid? You guys should have t taken care of this. I mean, come on. But they failed, and they're dead now. But, yeah. That, but Brendan Gleeson gets killed in the process. So, Ray Liotta goes crazy on this plane, and he, you know, does a bunch of crap. He's crazy. I tell you. This I haven't opened yet. It's Twister. I want the two disc edition. I don't. I like the movie enough for that. But the other one I had it didn't have very many special features, so I got this one, and it has all these now. And then all of a sudden, it's like two weeks later. Right after I bought this, about two weeks later, there's like a two disc set. It's like, what the heck, you know? But that's fine. Uh, so, we've all seen this. I don't, I shouldn't even have to explain this. Uh, they go after, after, Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt go after these twisters and they try to set Dorothy, which is like this thing with all these sensors to, for better warning, to study the tornado. For better warning systems and stuff, you know, it's all in the process there. And so everybody can have at least 12 more minutes to get to safety. But they have, first they have to get it up in the tornado, which is the hard part. Okay. And I got Under Siege here, which was like $4 at Walmart, which was awesome because I love the movie. Uh, Steven Seagal's best film, without a doubt, probably. Um, this sh battleship or something is taken over by all these assassins, including Gary Busey, Tommy Lee Jones, uh, Cole Meany, um, a bunch of people. Uh, so, Steven Seagal saved us today. He saves the day. Um, he saves the day, you know. Is it something out of the ordinary? No. I mean, we're talking Steven Seagal here. I mean, of course he's going to save the day, right? Same thing with this uh, Under Siege 2. He saves the day on a train. It's just taken over by terrorists. Underworld with uh, Kim... Kim Bassinger, no. Kate Beckinsale. Uh, which, I am not into this vampire stuff. I'm just not. I'm sorry. Just not. So, I, I don't know if that's bad or something, but I'm just not. Uh, so, this wasn't holding my attention very long. So, I can't really tell you um, what... I'm sorry. I'm sure you've seen it though, you know. And that underworld ever ever <laughs> evolution. What is what is wrong with me today? I'm not like enthusiastic today or anything. Uh, uh, evolution. It wasn't that. I never checked that out yet. So. Vertical limit. Now this was good. Uh. Uh, that Robin Tunney and Bill Paxton and a couple of these other people, uh, they get stuck in this mountain in an avalanche. And, uh, uh, Chris O'Donnell and Scott Glenn and all these other people, they try and save them. And a lot of them get killed in the process, so. That was good. That was a good movie. I liked it. Uh. V for Vendetta, which is, like, flawlessly good. Uh, it's about the, uh, I don't remember it very, it's, I don't know why, I'm just not remembering things right now. Hugo Weaving, uh, he's got, like, this math phase or something. Oh, gosh, I do not remember. I just remember it was really good and really, that's what, I don't know. But I have it. I'm just showing you these, basically. And then we got Volcano, which is like special effects mania here. Uh, 
a volcano explodes in L.A. and Tommy Lee Jones does a bunch of crap to help him out and all this crap. It's crazy. Uh, I used to love it as a kid, but now it's just all right. And I'm still a kid. I when I say kid, I mean like five, six, seven, eight. You know, maybe nine. I don't know. The World of Worlds. I saw this in theaters. Aliens come to attack. It's kind of like E.T., but this time the aliens are evil, and it's more than it's not just one alien. It's more than one alien. Uh, multiple aliens here, and they attack Earth, which was which was good. It was good, you know. Uh, Wind Talkers, another war movie here. Uh, haven't even opened it yet, but. I did see the other one. I saw. I didn't see the director's cut. This is the uh, director's cut. I saw the uh, other one. Um, the non-director's cut, the rated version, which was good. Um, it's it's pretty sad, but it's not nothing that's been done before. That's the problem. And gosh, jeez, these movies. Uh, Triple X and State of the Union. Forget State of the Union. That sucked. What were you thinking, Ice Cube? Uh, really, that was awful. I didn't like it at all. And Triple X, it was all right, you know. If you like action, that's the thing. If you if you're a diehard fan of action, you will like it. But me, I'm just, you know, if there's action, it's all good. It's, but that doesn't help me at all with the story very much, you know. But it was fine. Uh. Yeah. I guess we'll move on with uh let's see. Let's go over here to drama, I guess. I just I wasn't expecting to get this far, I don't know. Um Jack Nicholson, The Wild Ride, and The Violent Years. Don't don't buy this. Bad. Very bad. I, I didn't even watch it. It was so bad. I turned it off. I'm usually pretty good at not doing that. Then, uh, Two Days in the Valley. Alright. It's kind of like, it reminded me of Pulp Fiction for some reason, but it's like all these different people, uh... Jeff Daniels and Terry Hatcher and Charlize Theron. They're all in like these uh, predicaments and stuff. And just a bunch of crap happening and going down and stuff, you know. You know. Uh, it was good though. And oh my gosh, uh, James Spader was ticking me off. He was like this uh, shooter guy. He was like killing everyone here. I mean... I just wanted someone to pop him right in the face. I, he was making me real mad that no one could kill this guy. Uh, but it happens. Then we got... Ali, which is basically the story of Muhammad, played by Will Smith. It's pretty decent. It's pretty good. Uh, I say check that out. And then American Gangster, which a lot of people fell in love with. It was good, just not the greatest to me. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not putting it down or anything. It was, it was good. Um, Russell Crowe did a solid performance. Uh, same with Denzel Washington. Yeah. All right, I got time for a few more here. Uh, any given Sunday. And this was about football. I didn't even know it was about football. I mean, I was surprised. I mean, you're probably thinking, well, what do you think that is, stupid? And I was like, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm an idiot. Uh, what was this about? Uh. Yeah, that one guy. Al Pacino. Uh, 
he's running the space the football team and Jamie Foxx is having these issues and all these issues are going down and he's trying to get these guys riled up for uh, this big game going on. It's good.